we thought that the wind just blew furniture in or something. And then all of a sudden we looked over and there was a car in our living room. A terrifying incident for one Rochester mother after a car plows into her home, narrowly missing her sleeping baby. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Laura Lee. Betsy has a night off. The Rochester woman who drove through the home made her first appearance in court today. Deborah Jensen is charged with two counts of criminal vehicular operation. Police say breathalyzer results were below the legal limit, but she failed a field sobriety test. They were waiting on results of a blood draw. ABC 6 News reporter Megan Stewart spoke with the family whose home she drove through and is live outside the condo tonight. Megan, how are they holding up? Laura, the couple says they were in their kitchen and the baby was in the living room when the incident happened yesterday evening. Now, despite the terrifying ordeal, they're still in good spirits. It's already broken. <laughs> Desiree Ford and Christian Edwards spent Tuesday afternoon cleaning out what's left of their condo. While this looks bad, they say it could have been much worse. The baby was right by the wall. The car was like a foot or two away from her. Monday evening, a car plowed through their living room, narrowly missing two-month-old baby Rhea. I think we both screamed. Ford and Edwards scrambled over broken furniture and the vehicle to get to their baby, who was covered in shards of glass. Remarkably, she wasn't hurt. She didn't have anything but a scratch on her finger, thank God. Again, and I got the lady who had drove the car through the house, uh, got her out, out. Right now, the couple is working with their insurance company, hoping to replace what's lost. The Rochester Fire Department put up these beams to keep the second floor from collapsing, and their landlord bolted this plywood into place to seal off the residence. The young family says the crash is a setback. But they're happy no one was hurt. Yeah, that's all that, like, I thank God that none of us were injured. It's all just materialistic things that got ruined. It's kind of eye opening to just realize, you know, what you should be thankful for every day because you never know when things will be taken away from you. The driver, Deborah Jensen, was not injured in the crash. And in fact, she actually lives in the same building as the couple. We're told this is her designated parking spot. You can see it goes right up in front of the family's porch. Now, according to the criminal complaint, Jensen admitted to drinking alcohol yesterday and taking 15 different prescriptions. But she says she's prescribed all of those medications for various medical reasons, and none of them prevented her from driving. Her next court appearance is scheduled for later August. Laura, back to you.